Hey guys, it's me Stace. Welcome back to another Friday PIP, which is our Pinterest inspired project. Now today's project is inspired by Pinterest, but I'm going to change it out and make something completely different. I seen this one. This is a bird feeder made from a glass jar. It does not say what size glass jar. It just says, you know, you would need a glass jar, a wooden spoon, twine, tape, and bird seed. I have a I guess this is a pint size mason jar. I also have the quart size, which is longer, but they're still the same width. And after I thought about it, I don't like using this for one, it's rather small for them to get in here. Plus I think of the bird seed, bird seed in here, they're not gonna know it's glass and they might try flying in this way and get hurt. So we're gonna change it out. I was gonna use a coffee can and I will link below or in the card above the video we did a few years ago made, making a bird feeder out of a coffee can. It turned out really cute. But I'm gonna use a clay pot. This is what I had on hand. So it is inspired by Pinterest, but making our own twist on it. So I have my clay pot, I have some twine, some duct tape, and I also have a wooden spoon. Um, this hubby got at an event. You can see it has Florida blue on there. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take our twine. I'm gonna use this for the hanger. And I'm just gonna put it through the hole back here and then tie it into a knot. Really fun craft to do with the little ones because we're all home now and possibly bored looking for things to do. So if you have a clay pot laying around and some string. All right, so I tied that really well. I'm gonna go ahead and shorten the strings up a little bit. All right, so now I think I'm gonna put the wooden spoon on the bottom. It'll serve as the perch or I could put it in, no, I'm gonna put it on the bottom. I don't want any kind of glue to interfere with that. So I have my glue gun heating up. I'm going to put a bunch of glue on this just to kind of temporarily hold it to my pot. Just like that. I'm going to let that set up. I'm also going to use the duct tape to hold that down. Then to kind of disguise it, I'm going to take the jute cord and wrap it around the pot. Okay, so I think that's on there fairly well, I think. Now let me get my tape. You don't need a whole lot of tape just to hold it down. That way it's not going to come undone. Okay, just like that. And I'll do one more piece. And then we'll wrap it. Oh, I can't tear this one. Here we go. We'll wrap it with twine. That way it'll protect the wooden spoon. My pot is a tad bit wet because I had to wash it because I found this outside and it was all yucky with pollen and whatnot. I'm just going to take this. This is going to take a lot of twine to do, isn't it? Let me just see. I'm going to undo this piece, otherwise it's going to be in my way. All right. I'm just going to see how this is going to look if I wrap it. We can do like a you know what? I'm going to take the tape off because it wasn't sticking anyway. Go back to my glue and I'm going to use the um, we're just going to use the twine and we're going to make it be like kind of like a rustic birdhouse. Okay, or bird feeder. So to hold that, you definitely need something to hold the twine down or the wooden spoon. I'm going to take this I'm going to put a dab of glue right there and just kind of hold that in there until it makes contact and sets up a little bit for us. Just wait, just hold that down. Then we're just going to wrap it rustic. Okay, but you want to go tight. It is doing a pretty good job as far as wrapping it. So if you had ribbon or something, you could use that as well. If you had the E6000 glue, you could use that and you could put your twine under the stick after you glue it on there and you can use that as the hanger. We're just gonna go ahead and do this. So 
you can use as much twine as you want. Oh, I do want to get some to the bottom, but I'm going to put, stick a little bit of glue right there to kind of hold that twine in place. Just like that. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this piece too, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I can see my string is coming undone. Another cheap alternative here would be to use clothesline cord. All right, I think that's covered enough. I'm just gonna pull this and find a spot to... There we go. Ooh, the glue's hot. Okay. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back up so it doesn't fall down. So, like I said, it was inspired by Pinterest, but we're kind of doing our own twist on it. I think a lot of projects on Pinterest are more prettier than they are functional. And I think this was one of those. I just want to hold that string down. Okay, so there's our rustic bird feeder. I got hot glue on my finger. That hurt. All right, now I'm going to take another piece, like I said before, and use it as a hanger. And I have bird seed. All right. Probably should have went a little bit bigger on that one. Yeah, so I'll, I won't cut it yet. I'll put it in there, then I'll cut it. Because you want more than you need. So you have you can tie it. I guess I get my knot started. I'm even gonna stick some hot glue in my knot, right on top of the knot, and then tie it again. That'll it'll help hopefully keep that knot together. Like that. And like that. Okay, that's going to cut it. All right, what do you think? I like it. And you can hang it like on an angle. You can see it that way. Hang it on an angle like that. So it'll kind of tilt and fill it with birdseed. The birdseed I have is this one here. It is the Pennington Wild Bird Food. Uh, we used it before. We have a lot of cardinals in our trees. And they like, you can see it here better, the birdseed. They like these black ones. That's what I'll be using. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hang it in the tree and I'll come back and take a picture of it, or you'll see a picture of it at the end of the video, so you can see what you think. But super easy, right? All right, guys, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.